Hi guys, exception handling is an important part of any application development. We must add exception handling to our program to avoid security risk, give user friendly messages and develop error free software. Let's see how we can handle the exceptions in PHP using try catch blocks. We have a simple form here, name, email and age. Once we submit the form, the data will be inserted in a database table and we have a database table for this. This is the customer's table and we will be inserting the data in the customer's table. We have name, email and age. Email field is unique. We should not allow duplicate email in this table. So when you submit this form, let's enter the data. Let's create one user here. So we are entering John Doe, email john at test.com and age 44. Click on submit. User created. If you see in the database, there is a row inserted here. Now create another user with the same email ID. Test user and give the same email ID. We already have an user with the email john at test.com and we are creating another user with the same email id so let's submit the form so it gives a fatal error it gives my sql i sql exception and duplicate entry for the email so the program is actually crashing because we have unique email id so that is why you cannot enter the same email id for a different user so we have to handle this error we have to write exception code in PHP so that we can present this error in a user friendly way to the user and at the same time user can proceed with the data entry by correcting the email ID. So let's use the try catch block in the PHP to handle this error. I have a program add customer.php and there is a form here. So name, email, age and a submit button and when the form is submitted I just take the values from the form and there is an insert statement that inserts the row in the database and then we are using the prepared statement to insert the row in the database and then giving a message. So we will use try catch block here, give try. So your execution statement should be in the try block. Immediately after try block, give a catch block, catch exception dollar e. This is an exception class and create an object dollar e. And then we'll create an error message here dollar e error msg equal to dollar e use the get message method here to display the error and we will display this error in the form the same way we are displaying the success message so just copy this and paste it here and give is error message And at the same time, this was success message, alert success, we use the class for error message, we will use alert danger. So this was error message and error message. Let's initialize this error message also. Refresh this. We will create another user with the same email id. So let's give test name. Email will give the same email id and give the age. Submit. So now it is displaying duplicate entry for the key email. So now you can see that it does not give any fatal error. Instead it is displaying a message and user can read this message and correct the email id and submit the form. We can also raise the exception for certain condition. So let's say 
for the age we do not allow age more than 30 so here we will add condition if dollar is greater than 30 throw new exception and give the message here age should be less than or equal to 30 so when we throw new exception here the control will directly go to catch section and display the error message so here we are throwing a new exception with the message as age should be less than or equal to 30 and the control will go to the catch section rest of the code will not be executed so let's try refresh it let's give a name we have to give a different email now let's see in the database we have only one row and give age as 35 so it says age should be less than or equal to 30 now if we give age less than 30 what happens let's see let's give 28 click on submit so user is created if you see in the database you can see the row is inserted here with the age 28 and test at test.com so this way we can raise the exception for any condition that we will be using in our code so when developing a program for your project you must consider the possible exceptions or errors the code may encounter during the program execution have you handled all these exceptions and added appropriate code to deal with them you need to check that friends if you like this video please give a like and subscribe to my channel for more such videos see you in the next video